Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know it hurts. Hey, what's up? Welcome to hack number 18, the Hexa Baby. She's a little bit strange, but uh, I had to throw her together because this one hack I was working on just failed this week miserably. It didn't work, did it? Nah. So anyway, I built this, and uh, she's a little bit creepy. And um, I'm going to share with you what's going on inside of this. So this is a little Hexabot from Radio Shack. They're about 25 bucks. And I decided to have some fun with this because this one hack I was working on this week, I ran into trouble and couldn't get it done in time. And I had this thing kind of kicking around. So literally within the last couple of hours, I threw this together. I had the head already cut from a weird session one night and uh, decided to put this together just for fun because it's just a totally kooky hat and it's very creepy. I love the hair. It's an awesome hairdo. Oh, fell over. It's all right. Oh, what's wrong? You can't stand up tonight. Have you been drinking? I've been drinking. Got a problem. So anyway, um, let's take a look inside and you'll see how I did this. It's basically just LEDs connected to the motor output. The green ones light up when it goes forward. Or the red ones light up when it goes forward. And the green one lights up when it goes back. The Exorcist. Uh, you got to deal with this drinking problem. You can't be drunk on the job. Well, that's it. Game over. Actually pulls some current away from uh, from the motor, but it would work. See how much it's knocking it down. Pretty fair amount. Two of them would do quite a bit. Okay, let's solder the uh, solder a resistor in line here in the series. This is for the LED. She'll run on four volts, but I found if I put the resistor, it's less current draw. A little bit of heat shrink. Good to go. One down, two more to go. Have that the right way. How about that? 
explain what it is the right way. Get back on the table. Stay. I've got a yellow LED hooked up to the motor voltage output but it's hooked up the other way around so when the bot backs up the yellow LED lights up so let's see we should have the red LEDs yeah forward or the green one I forgot that's right green not yellow green ah cool ready to put it inside the head Right, so the LEDs are going to go in where the eyeballs uh, are. So we need to uh, do a little surgery on our little doll head here. People who are squeamish about eye injuries probably shouldn't look right now. Wow, man. Plastic surgery. Awesome. Didn't know I could do plastic surgery. You were very brave. Alright, eyeballs in the sockets. I got one in already. Let's get the next one. This is some creepy stuff, man. I'm loving this. This is this is great. This is classic. This is like David Lynch kind of stuff right here. He would love this. Oh, it didn't hurt much, did it? What? You haven't got any feelings. Oh. Well then, you're all good then. Make sure your little eyeball wires aren't shorted out here. Okay, let's see what we got. Excellent. Well, like like Frankenstein, we need to screw the head in place. So. go. Head in place. So there's the uh, the kooky little hexabot with a doll head. You should totally go to Radio Shack and buy one of these and see what you can do with it. Go steal your sister's dolls and stick a head on one. Or whatever. Any other doll. Go find some silly stuff and have fun with it. Hack one of these up. Post a video. Freak people out. It's really cool. So till next week, when I do something more worthwhile, 
like a current limiting circuit for your power supply. Keep on hacking. Babe, I'm way down here. You know I'm way down here. Babe, I'm way down here in a rolling fog, baby.